for both teams just because they're all night, but you guys shoot 61%. How did you feel like you got to that point, the looks you were getting, and, and how did that carry you through? I think the biggest thing um, in our pick and rolls, uh, middle, side, angle, um, we just didn't want to settle. You know, we wanted to hit rollers, hit guys, get as many points in the paint as possible. Um, and again, put pressure on them to guard the rim or foul. And uh, I thought we did an excellent job. 70 points in the paint, it, it's, it's, that's who we are. You know, we want to be, again, play fast, physical, and free with force. And uh, that was, that's actually, you know, a representation of our physicality. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, 30, 33 free throw attempts as well. Uh, but guys just not selling, attacking, and staying in a constant attack mode and uh, spraying it out, you know, when you can't, um, when things aren't there, you draw a crowd. Okay, you guys have been playing well as of late, uh, but to be able to combine that with playing well down the stretch of the game, what does that show uh, about a team and where they're at confidence-wise? Again, trending in the right direction, learning from our mistakes. Um, you know, a couple months back, you know, we'd have lost a game like this. And back then, you know, sitting here with you guys post-game, during the post-game pressers, just telling you guys, as much as it hurt, we need to go through this process. We need to learn. You know, it's trial by fire. So um, I think just all those, all those experiences is causing us to be more conscious in, on offense, not just throwing away possessions late in the game, being deliberate, knowing who we want the ball to go to, knowing what actions we want to get into, know what combination of players we want involved in the actions. And uh, the same defensively, you know, really digging into our matchups um, and, and, and switching them up at times to try to create some indecision by the opponent. But at the end of the day, like everything we've gone through up to this point this season, I think has been a huge education for us to trend in the right direction here currently. Darwin, hard, hard to put you on the spot here, but I mean, you get that much performance from Dennis. You get LeBron doing what LeBron did, Russ doing what he did, Thomas doing what he did. Is there one of those that stands out to you between those four? And is it? I mean, everybody have had their moments during the game. You know, Dennis had his moments. Russ had his moments. Brian had his moments. Thomas, you know, those free throw line jumpers. It's almost like he could make them blindfold. Him on offensive glass, defensive glass, him guarding. And that's a hell of a task to try to uh, stop Donis. And and so it's it's just everybody, man, a whole group effort. I mean, when you play hard, you play smart, you play together. Like Russ said at the end of the, our post-game talk with the team, you have fun. You know, it's about having fun at the end of the day. We, we, we're in a blessed possession, uh, profession. We have, you know, a blessed, blessed careers. And, and we, we, we get spoiled. We get paid to be here, to travel to the country and do everything <clears throat> from our travel to our hotel, to everything first class, you know. And, and we're, we're playing basketball and doing basketball for a living. So I just think it's just a reflection of guys sharing a load and out there having fun with one another. And during different segments of the game, different guys are able to step up and make impacts and, and that's what happens like with AD you know you have a tendency to defer or Brian you have a tendency to defer but you know Thomas as you mentioned Russ Dennis everybody stepping up K Nunn last night you know everyone is t stepping up and, and, and trying to hold their part of the rope and, and, and all pull in the same direction. When, when LeBron said what he said in Miami about losing and that not being in his DNA and not being good like, that can cut a couple different ways for a team. You guys haven't lost since. Uh, is there any correlation, do you think, to, to the way guys have responded to, to that loss in Miami and, and their leader kind of talking that way after the game? Yeah, no, I mean, I think everybody took it it took it in stride, and, 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 and no one disagreed with that. You know what I'm saying? Everyone wants to make it a story, like LeBron's calling out his teammates, or LeBron's doing this, LeBron's doing that. Like, He's stating facts, and, and and so no one wants to be comfortable with losing or, or or get repetitious with losing or being being satisfied. Well, okay, we had great individual performances, but once again, there's another one in the L column. No one wants that. So, yeah, it's 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 almost like ringing an alarm. Like everybody, wake up! It's wake wake up! It's time to get over ourselves, buckle down, and compete as a unit on both sides of the ball and do what it takes. Man for man, hold ourselves accountable for the group.
not for ourselves, but for the group. And, um, you know, it's, we, we've, again, been trending in the right direction ever since. And guys, you see guys, their competitive juices and how they sustain their competitiveness throughout the 48-minute game, you know, it's, it's, it's paying dividends. And I think that had a lot to do with it. Him just, like I said, not calling anybody out, but ringing an alarm. Like, we need to be way more competitive than what we are at this current moment. And we've been that these last five games.